In this video, I'm going to be highlighting the traffic light tool in Oceans Map. Uh, so if we open that tool, uh, we can get started by creating a layer. Uh, so by default, it's titled My Layer. You can set the opacity. Uh, and then what you want to do is add a rule. So when the user clicks Add Rule, they're prompted with this Select Layer dropdown. So if the user cares about creating a traffic light layer for wave height in the Chesapeake, they can select that layer. And you can see this slider here populates on the bottom. So when I save that, uh, you can see this layer populates here on the map with either uh, green, yellow, or red. So by default, the uh, min is set to one and max is two. So any areas with a wave height of less than one shows as green. Uh, anything between one and two shows as yellow and anything above two shows as red. Uh, if we turn on this activate hover tooltip, uh, the user can hover over a specific area and it shows the wave height at that area. So you can see the wave height there is 2.6. So that's why it's showing as red because it's above two meters. Um, the user can also click on a specific location and it will open this observation drawer and they can plot uh, the, a time series of the traffic light at that particular location. Uh, so right now on, uh, on, on the plot here, we are looking at uh, when, at what point in time wave height is less than one meter, and then at what point in time it's between one and two meters by this uh, yellow background section showing here, and then the green background section showing for these times. And again, the user can hover over this line here to display the specific wave height at that point in time at this specific location on the map.